As the big story on Action News is the changing of pandemic restri restrictions for gatherings in Philadelphia. While it's reason to celebrate for some, indoor venues are taking a big hit. Action News reporter Maggie Kent live now in South Philadelphia, just outside the link to explain the details. Maggie. Brian and Jeanette, as you mentioned, good day for Eagles fans, right? They'll be welcomed back into the stadium come Sunday. That's really soon. But these indoor uh, rules also go into effect on Friday, and that may affect your weekend plans, especially if you had a larger party scheduled for inside. We know the stands at Lincoln Financial Field won't look like this anytime soon, but a limited number of people will be allowed back inside the stadium for Sunday's home game against the Ravens. And some believe this will give our team a boost. The fact that having people there and the energy there, they're going to be like, we've been missing this. This is what we needed. Yeah. Come on, Eagle. Some rules, 7,500 total people are allowed back at the stadium, and that includes teams, employees, and fans. No tailgating, no alcohol sales without food. Indoor event rules will change too, moving to a 10% capacity or up to 250 people. The Wells Fargo Center, for example, can only host 250 people, including staff. Let's say you have an indoor theater that has a maximum occupancy of 300 people. That could have 30 persons in that theater. But this new guideline can also be detrimental for hotels and smaller venues, meaning a hotel which was able to host 25 person indoor event in a room for, let's say, 100 people can now only serve 10 people in that very same room. And that's including staffers. I got off the phone with somebody and said, listen, I had a party of 12 tonight. I can now offer them just a table of two in that same room because we have to account for one staff member. Now again, those rules go into effect on Friday, so that party of 12 could likely have their dinner tonight. But again, if you had uh, reservations for large parties inside of a restaurant or hotel venue, they'll be changing come this weekend. So be aware of that. As far as the Eagles fans are concerned, the tickets for the home games will go to the season ticket holders first and then any left over. Well, that's when the general population can get in on those. We're live at the link. Maggie Kent, Channel 6 Action News. Jeanette.